Well, one of the stocks in focus is SR Oil. If you see the chart of SR Oil, well, uh, today of course uh, the, the stock is doing well. Uh, it's flattened out now, 55 rupees. But if you see uh, one year or two year chart of SR Oil, the stock has gone through a lot of correction. Uh, so there, there's an FCCB conversion which is now happening. Lalit Kumar Gupta, CEO of SR Oil is with us. Mr. Gupta, hi, good morning. Uh, first of all, good morning. if you could take us through this FCCB conversion because this is a large amount, $260 million and uh, uh, the promoters will be converting these FCCB at uh, almost three times the market price or two and a half times the market price. So, uh, if you could first take us through that conversion, sir. Yeah. You know, if uh, you are aware, last year our promoter company had decided to convert this optionally convertible debenture into compulsory convertible debentures in order to make sure that our net worth is uh, improving. And now they have decided uh, to convert this compulsory convertible debenture into the equity. And accordingly, they have given us notice. And you are right that they are converting almost. Uh, at an average price of about 130 and 153 in two different tranches and uh, so this uh, 260 million dollar will now get converted into equity and will definitely boost our net worth okay uh, mr Kuma, uh, mr gupta just uh, a follow up question on that then what are the pending fccbs that SR, sr oil has and what is what are the timelines of conversion and who would they be issued to would it only be the promoter company yeah, this uh, $260 million which uh, is getting converted now for which we have received a notice from our parent company SR Energy PLC is getting converted immediately and thereafter we do not have any other remaining FCCV for conversion. Mr. Gupta, uh, clearly the thing that stood out from your numbers last time was the below EBITDA numbers. Uh, you know, you, you had interest costs on one side which are clearly on a descent but uh, you have uh, forex element which is quite clearly still impacting your numbers. How would both of these uh, uh, particular numbers pan out as we go forward? You know last time also I think we had clarified in great detail that the foreign exchange variations which we show in our accounts they are basically M2M provisions which get realized in the next quarter so they generally are to be seen in the context that as per accounting policies we are supposed to provide MTM and therefore they are necess not necessarily the losses. And as far as your uh, second question on interest is concerned, uh, yes, there is uh, interest of about 3000 crores plus as of now. You are aware that we are already on course of uh, uh, converting our substantial debt into dollar borrowing because our 100% revenues and expenditures are in dollar. So our earnings are also in dollar. Our natural currency is dollar. Mm -hmm. So we are converting this which will substantially reduce this interest by almost 150 to 200 million dollars. So going forward we expect that this interest burden should come down. You have seen in second quarter that interest has started showing some declining trend because of this conversion. And also let me put it in contest that today the refinery of 20 million ton with 12 complexity anywhere in the world you have the replacement cost of 10 to 12 billion dollars. So if you take let's say even 10 billion dollar and 70 percent debt, it should be about 7 billion dollar. Hmm. Whereas we have set up SR oil totally at 5 billion dollar and uh, today our debt all including, including even sales tax is about 3.5 billion dollar. So we, if you see it in contest, there is absolutely in control and our interest expenses as I mentioned, once we convert into dollar uh, loans are going to be very well within the limits. How much uh, do you think it could possibly reduce uh, in FY15 if you have some uh, foresight on that? FY15, I mean, if, uh, our present target is to convert about $2 billion minimum into foreign currency and if you take even a saving of 6%, at least $120 million interest amount should go down further uh, from whatever it has already gone. Mr. Gupta, your GRMs were also quite uh, uh, you know, positively surprised uh, the markets in second quarter. Uh, what's been the trend in third quarter so far? Yes. <laughs> the margin in second quarter, I mean basically it was a monsoon quarter for India and uh, this time we had very robust and good monsoon. So India exported a lot of diesel which also uh, helped in depressing the market in second quarter. 
but I think third quarter, although the quarter began with the slightly depressed note, but uh, now we are finding that margins are coming up and uh, the quarter should be it now looking good. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, Mr. Gupta, just wanted one more follow-up question. In FY15, what then would the debt to equity possibly stabilize at for SR Oil? Just, uh, you know, uh, because there are brokerages which are indicating that maybe your free cash flow could now get a bit of a boost simply because of the conversion of uh, debt into dollar debt as well as the fact that most of your commissioning of uh, your refinery has now stabilized. Yeah, you are absolutely right. Uh, as far as FY15-16 is concerned, we should see substantial improvement in our debt equity uh, issues and uh, you are very right that one, this FCCV has got converted which will boost our network. Second, once we convert into dollars, our maturities are getting extended and uh, whatever cash flow then come because the refinery is now fully stabilized, working more than 100% capacity producing the GRM, giving us the GRM much better than the benchmark GRM. So all the free cash flows are available with us and this should help us to substantially improve our debt equity if you see next 18 to 24 months. All right, Mr. Gupta, thanks a lot. Uh, we wish you luck for the, the second Thank half you. of the year. Uh, that's SR Oil, the stock now up about 2.5%. So promoters uh, had converted the uh, optionally convertible debentures into uh, FCCBs into uh, compulsory convertible debentures and uh, they had to uh, convert it at 138 rupees per share uh, part of it and part of it uh, at uh, 150 odd uh, and that was to, to boost the net worth of the company. The stock now up 2%. Let's take a break. Once we come back, we'll discuss uh, FNQs with Krish Subramaniam of Asit Seema, the investment.